technical foul. Now, you say that doesn't mean anything offsetting technicals. It does mean something because another one and both of them would be gone. So they, they, they have no room now to pick up another technical foul. By the way, earlier in the game, there was a foul that was actually on A.C. Green, initially given to Ron Harper. So in truth, A.C. Green is now on the bench with three fouls, not two. Take a look at this lineup now. I thought we might see this. Sam Perkins and Smiths together. What does this do? That means that Shaquille O'Neal must guard one big guy who can shoot. He can't hide now on Dale Davis. Both big guys can shoot. Let's see if this works. Here's Harper, five on the 24. Harper with the jumper. The rebound to Mark Jackson, who gets a lot of rebounds for a backcourt guy. See, now they'll get Shaq involved in screen roll because he's guarding Smith. Let's see if Smith can pop out and shoot a little jump shot here. Perkins, Laurie got up on him. Five seconds to shoot, and Miller will. Rice has the rebound for L.A. more aggressive the double teams are here at home rotations quicker Shaw for three back come the Pacers up 21 12 Shaq's on Smiths he hooks over it he needs that you know he had that shot in Los Angeles he started out in game one missed his first three but Shaq's not trying to block that shot if he'll take his time he can get that shot off here's O'Neal driving baseline and Smiths hacks him Shaquille O'Neal is playing behind the post. Rick Smith, if he'll get his rhythm, one dribble, two dribble, little jump hook, and Shaq's not even jumping. So if he takes his time, he'll be able to get that shot. Now here's Shaq, once again, deep post position. And if you're going to foul him, foul him. Make him make free throws. Now, Bob, very important, how he shoots him early will decide how often Bird chooses to foul him. As of this moment, Smith has outscored Shaq. Six zip. Let's go to Ahmad. All right, thanks, Bob. Doug, you were just talking about the double teams and how aggressive they are. Shaq was preparing for this game before the game. He was watching a tape of all the post stuff that he had last game so he could try to figure out where those double teams are coming from. And it looks like he's all that information. Ahmad, thanks. One of two for Shaq, which is pretty much the way he shot free throws throughout the playoffs at about a 50% clip. Smiths. Gets it back, tries it again, and the bank is closed for him. But he's showing more aggressiveness here at home than he did in the first two games in L.A. Here is O'Neal against two defenders who are powerless to stop him. Jackson was over to try and help Smith, but once he got it that deep, all he could do was pray that he'd miss the shot. Well, Smith doesn't have the foot speed to be able to get back. Shaq knows that. He just tried to beat him up the floor, and he did. Smith misses the jumper. Had a lot of good shots here in the first quarter. I like the fact that he's continuing to shoot the basketball and take that shot. O'Neal out of the double to Shaw. Cross court Harper. Baseline jumper. Didn't look like he beat the 24 second clock. And in fact, they call the violation. Got to make sure here now the Pacers recognize we have about 3.7 seconds to go. Surprised Larry Bird didn't bring in Travis Best to give another quick player out there on the floor with this last possession. So they try to throw. The, here comes uh, Austin Crowe. He's going to try to get in the game to give him another quicker player. He's going to go in for Rick Smith. So now Shaq is going to have to play Smith. So what happens? Phil Jackson counters. He's going to bring Travis Knight in for quickness, or we'll play Crozier. Travis Knight will slide over and play Perkins here on the basketball. That's, again, how you have to watch the matchups at the end of a quarter. This is a big possession. Smith sits down, having shot three for nine, so he was active in the first quarter. Perkins gets off a three over Knight at the buzzer. And the Pacers have to be content with an eight-point lead after one.
You're watching the NBA Finals. Well, if you're Larry Bird, you have to be very happy. Reggie Miller and Jalen Rose have both gotten off to great starts. The rest of the team is struggling. These two guys have 15 of the 23 points. And you like to see him get some easy ones here. Mark Jackson misses the uh, driving layup. Reggie follows it up and tips it in. Reggie needed this. He was only one for eight in the games in L.A. from three. Squares up and knocks down the open three. And Jalen Rose getting off to a good start also, coming off screens and hitting the open jumper, doing what he does best, a little unorthodox running left-hand jumper in the lane. So you ask your two best players, your two best scorers, to get you off to a good start, and they have done that. I have said before, I think these two guys need to get at least their average in the playoffs, 42 points or more, if they're going to win here today. Here's Harper looking for Ori and now Shaq trying to get it to Harper the Pacers knock it out of bounds and they're very lucky that time because the Pacer defense on the back side had fallen asleep if that pass had not have been tipped Harper would have had a layup we see Mark Jackson sitting Travis best in he has really struggled in the two games in LA I talked to the Pacers coaching staff they said he has done that in a couple series but he's gotten going let's see if he can do it today Rick Fox releases on the inbound and misses and here's Best to bring it out of the backcourt. Jackson had five assists in the first quarter as the Pacers took an eight-point lead. So here's one thing that Travis Best gets him in trouble. He dribbles too much. The clock's against him now. Reggie with the shake move and the drive. Shaquille O'Neal was out high on the floor. He was nowhere to be found as Reggie Miller drove the ball to the basket. Without him, Robert Ory is the only other guy that can block a shot. Indiana by 10. Shaq in the paint. Fisher's on best. The clock is down to 10. The lob goes to Rose and a whistle from Hugh Evans. Again, you love to get layups if you're struggling with your shot. And Reggie, quick drive, and you see Robert Ory can't get over there. Kosher does a nice job. And then Shaquille O'Neal, once he gets deep in the lane right there, there's nothing Sam Perkins can do. And Shaq with a little jump hook. Let's see if Shaq can get some more field goal attempts in this period. Foul was on Rick Fox, his first. Three seconds to shoot. Does Perkins know that? Does Crozier know that? He misses as the buzzer sounds. Indiana, in Indiana is not a team that plays well against that shot clock. They don't have one-on-one -on -one players other than Rose. They've got to execute quicker in their offense. Here's Shaq, three seconds to shoot. His jumper is short, and Rose takes it. Good defense by Indiana. Here's Crozier, off the fake, he drives the lane, out to Reggie, moves in a bit closer, and drills it. Home, sweet, home. Reggie Miller 